Hi guys, welcome back. This is Micromus at Image Tutorials and today I'm going to explain to you how to get the Maya DMM plugin. Well, the DMM plugin is a uh, physical simulation system and it will pretty much allow you to uh, create breaking bottles, exploding light bulbs and cool stuff like that. All right. Now, first of all, where do we get it? How do we install it? And how do we use it? Okay. So we're going to start off by going to Google and I'll just uh, start there okay and you're gonna look for www.pixels.forum.com all right I'll give that a sec okay now remember this guys this is a pretty cool forum lots of stuff going on here so please if you're in uh, 3d art join subscribe post and so forth okay so we're going to go into this menu here we're going to go down to useful websites with cool stuff go to free plugins and we are going to go with this one here the dmm plugin okay as you can see quite a few people have been here all right now here is the description of what to do that I'll talk you through it. So we're going to click on the uh, Pixelx uh, hyperlink here. And that will bring us to the appropriate site. Now, as you can see, normally this is not free. You can buy it. However, you can download uh, a version of it that is workable. Uh, but it does have some restrictions. And the restriction is that uh, the difference between the limited and the unlimited version is the number of uh, tetrahedra. Okay, so you can pretty much uh, model. You can model a lot of stuff, but if you want to get really pro at it, you know, it's probably better to buy it. Okay, so I got uh, the Maya 2014 64-bit version. So I'm going to take that one. I'm going to click on that. Okay, do I want to save it? Yes, I do. So it's starting to download up here, and we'll give that a sec. There we go. And I'm just going to click on it and run it. Now, I'm going to show you this whole process. I already installed this, so I'm going to get a slightly different menu, but that's fine. Just click on Next. You're going to see something different here. Just go through the install, Next, Next install and finish okay that's it then go to your my environment all right go to window settings preferences plugin manager okay now in my case <coughs> I already have that installed but I'll just walk you through that okay so we're just gonna go into this plugin manager go to browse I'm going to check my C drive. I'm going to go to, uh, let me think, let me think, let me think, uh, program files and Pixelux. Okay. I'm going to open this folder here and there are two files in plugins, that one and that one. I'm going to select the first one, click open. Don't mind that. I'm going to click browse again. I'm going to click the second one and open. Okay. Now, if we then uh, scroll down, uh, let's see, up actually, we got this one here, the DMN plugin and the DMM cinematic. Okay. They're both loaded. I'm going to select them so they will be loaded next time as well. I'm going to hit refresh and close. Okay, so what did that bring us? If we go to the drop down menu now, we've got this DMM option here. We're going to select that. And in our tabs here, we've got the DMM tab over there. And there we go. Okay, so this whole row of buttons. Now, I'm not going to do a full course on DMM, but I'll just give you a quick example of what you can do with this. Okay. I'm just going to simply click on this first object here. We'll give it a sec. 
Okay, so that created that little cube there, right? Now, if I were to hit W and pull that up, and let's give it 100 frames, and I would hit play, nothing would really happen. I would just, you know, it's just hang there, right? Now it's dropping. Stop, go back to start. What we're going to do is we're going to bring that down. We're going to hit R to scale it. And I'll just hit R, make it a bit more flat. Hit 5 for shaded mode. And what I'm going to do is this little uh, asset manager here is kind of your attribute editor, but then for DMM. Okay, so I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to make this a passive object, like so. I'm going to minimize that, OK? Now I'm just going to create another object. Let's say a cylinder. That's right there. I'm going to hit W. I'm going to pull that up. And I'm not going to change anything whatsoever. And I'm just going to hit Play. And it's bouncing around, OK? Go back to the start. I'll give it a bit more frames. Now the thing is, you can uh, adjust settings here, okay? So I've got that object selected. I'm going to go to this one here. That's a material node. And we can play with some settings here. And there are lots and lots of stuff you can do here, but we'll just uh, go for the obvious one. Okay, the toughness. Let's bring that way down, okay? Let's go to 10. And check out what happens. I'm going to hit play. And it's falling in pieces. Pretty cool, huh? Now, the neat thing here is when you have modeled something in your polygons menu, so we'll just quickly do that. We'll go to our polygons menu. And uh, where is it? There, OK. I'll just select that guy, get rid of it. So we're just going to create a basic cube, OK? Let's give that some subdivision. Uh, this object obviously will not fall apart. However, while I have this selected, I'm going to go to my DMM tab. And I've got this option here, create DMM from poly mesh. OK, so I'm going to select that. It's starting to look all weird and everything. Never mind. And look what happens when I hit play. Boom. That's pretty cool, huh? OK, so that's kind of the idea behind DMM. So have fun with this. Enjoy it. And if you've got any questions, let me know. Thanks.